Hi guys, I'm Dylan. Welcome to the Synergy 360 unit. Here's how things work. All right, so welcome to the TRX portion of the unit. So if you're wondering, what is this thing? Basically, you can do a whole bunch of different exercises with it. You can hold it to assist you in squats. You can turn out this way and do push-ups. You can face it and do rows. You can get a little crazy with it and do some different core things. Possibilities are endless. So I'll show you just how to adjust it depending on what you want to do. So let's say I want to do some rows. One of the most basic common exercises for the TRX. So if I'm going to walk in, first the good thing about this floor is it's pretty grippy. Some floors you'll slip, which if you're trying to do TRX rows, definitely not ideal to be slipping on the floor. So you'll stand here, pull the shoulders back, and then pull your hands kind of toward the bottom of your ribs. Now let's say you want to adjust the handle. If you see this little black ledge here or lever, you just pull it out and then you'll pull down and then it lengthens. And then you keep it pulled if you want to shorten the rope and then pull this yellow tab upward, just like that. And then of course you want to make sure they're even. So you'll be here. Align these and line this little tab here in the center as well. So I'll just lengthen them a little bit and I'll show you a few reps of the row. You can also face out this way and you can do some push-ups. So for this one, the further back your feet are, the harder it's gonna be. Here, breathe in, breathe out on the way up. And for the row, of course, the closer your feet are into here, the more difficult it's gonna be. Now let's take a look at some of these bands that we have usually hanging up around these pegs here. But here I've got green, red, and purple. So green is your easiest, then it goes to red, and then to purple. So I'll take the red band here for now. And you can see all these different kind of half circly, half ring-like things. Of course, the higher up the number, the higher up the ring. All right. So we can do a variety of exercises with these. So let's stick it in here for now. And then I'm going to put one handle of the band through the other handle. And I'm going to show you how to work your rotator cuff. Some of the external rotator muscles of the shoulder. So. Glue the elbow against your body, hold it in tight, set the shoulders back, step out so you have a little bit of tension in the band. Think of a paper right here between your elbow and body and you're trying to hold it up the whole time and you're going to just twist out and then bring it back in. Twist out and then back in. Of course there's a variety of tempos you can use. You can go faster here, you can hold it for 5-10 seconds, you can go really slow on the way back in. All in all though, trying to engage some of the external shoulder rotator muscles right back there. And that brings us to the core of the unit, the monkey bars. So lots of different things we can do here. We can climb back and forth of course, you can hang on and you can do pull-ups, you can do chin-ups, you can just hang off and do leg raises, knee raises. So let me just show you one of my favorite things to do, just kind of climbing back and forth for me, it's pretty nostalgic. You know, as a kid, always playing in the park, trying to climb the monkey bars. So I'll grab on. You can go one to the next. You can go both hands on. All right, you can switch grip. You can get your chin ups. Multi-purpose. Lots of fun with these things. Next up. We got this rope here that you can pull down. I like to call it the never ending rope because as you pull, it never really ends. You can keep going all day and you're never gonna run out of rope. So a couple different things you can do with this. What I like to do is kind of squat down a little bit, set the shoulder back and then just pull the elbow down. Good for grip, good for conditioning, gets the heart rate up. Right beside the never ending rope, we got our landmine bar. You can just pull it out. This one's fairly light. And then you put it 
into this little tube that's locked into the unit. So just slide it in. Now, you've got the end. And then of course it's big right here, that little kind of ring-like structure around it. So you can put some weight on it if you want. Tons of different things you can do with this now. All right, so we can hinge over, landmine rows. We can do them single arm, a wide grip. Landmine presses, standing, half kneeling. We can get a little bit of conditioning in it. A lot of different fun things you can do with this, really. Next up, another functional piece of equipment I like to call the ledge. So it's kind of like a square platform here. A lot of different things you can do. You can stand in front facing out, squat, touch, and come up. You can put a little more weight on it. Up to you. Kind of just practicing your squat form there. You can turn and face, get into some push-ups. Coming down, press away. Like that. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, well, it's a little high for me to do my step ups or I wanna jump. Well, you can actually raise it to any of these levels here. So to do that, a little awkward, so I'm gonna show you here. Put one hand here, lift the back, take this handle, lift it up, and then it's out. And then you can put it, if you wanna go lower, then we can do step ups. You can jump, two leg, one leg, lots of possibilities with this one. So over here we have some rock climbing handles. So really functional if you're going out to the rock climbing gym. Same kind of handles as you can see. You can hook your hand in here and you can do your pull-ups, right? If you're a little short like me, not that short, but you can reach. You can either do a little jump or kind of step up here. Get your hands on there. You can just practice your hangs. You can practice your pull-ups. A lot of different things you can do with these. All right, so last but not least, we've got our dip bars. Of course, you can do a couple other things with them. You can position them up way higher. You could hold on and help yourself come up in your squat, things like this. You could just go straight arm style, leg raises, knee raises, and of course you can do your dips. You change it the same way as the ledge. Just lifting the back, use the handle, and then you can raise it up and down. All right, so that's it for the Synergy Training Unit. If you have any questions, feel free to sign up for training or you can even just send us a DM. You got this. We got you.